on this video, I'm going to show you five gadgets that you're going to want for your RV. Yep, that's right. have been testing out some gadgets and stuff for your RV. Originally, I was gonna do a bunch of them on the Two Cent Tuesdays, but I had five gadgets that I thought are awesome for your RV. And even if you don't have an RV, I think you're really gonna enjoy these. I will put a link in the description box below for all these items. They are Amazon affiliate links and by clicking on those, that helps me be able to do more of these videos because it gets kind of expensive constantly buying new products to try. This is gonna be in no particular order. Now, you've already saw my number one. It is a rechargeable LED bulb. Yes, I said rechargeable LED bulb. This does not have to be plugged into the wall to work. You can just wet your finger and press on the end and the bulb comes on and then you take it away, it comes off. This is a two pack and it's $16.73 for two bulbs. And there are so many ways for you to be able to use these bulbs. One, it comes with this little hook that you can put, put it on. So you screw this in here and it has a ball, a button that turns it on and off. And you could just hang these outside the RV somewhere or anywhere that you needed a light. This would work for that. Another thing is if you have a lamp and you don't have a plug right there, but you want a lamp there, you can screw this into the lamp and then you put this on the end of the plug and then the lamp works just like if it was plugged into the wall. <laughs> I think these are so cool. The only negative that I really had about these bulbs is to charge them. You have to screw them in to a lamp that is plugged into the wall and that's how they charge. Now how I think these would be great for your home or even in the RV is if you have a lamp and you could screw these in, this is actually plugged into the wall. It doesn't matter. And the power goes out at your house. You can use the lamp just like you normally would with no power. You would just have to put this piece on the end of the plug and it would work. I haven't really tested to see how long it would stay on, but it says that they'll last three to four hours of just solid use and then you have to recharge them. But still, I know your mind is going crazy of all the ideas that you could use this bulb for. Is a lacrosse weather station. This thing was like $58 and I have Mars mounted on our bar area and it has two sensors, it has the indoor sensor and then you have another sensor, which you can put outside or if you wanted to put it in your refrigerator, if you didn't have like a, ours has a place that reads and tells us the temperature in the refrigerator. But if you didn't have that, you could stick one in the refrigerator as well. We have really enjoyed having this, especially at the hunting club. Like literally at a glance, we can look and see what the outside temperature is. It typically like today, it was supposed to rain, but it had not started yet. And it was flashing that it was gonna rain. I'm not sure quite how all that works, but it is somewhat right. The negative that I need to tell you is the sensor that you put outside, make sure you don't put it anywhere that it's in direct sunlight. And I have just taken a Velcro command strip and put it on the outside of the RV. And then on travel days, I'm gonna pull it off and put it inside. I just don't want it to fly off driving down the road. Now, it tells you the humidity inside the camper and I feel like that is completely accurate. The outside humidity, sometimes I feel like it's messed up, especially like if it's foggy or something outside, I've noticed, and it may be higher humidity as well, but I just feel like the outside sometimes, it's got like some crazy numbers, like it says it's like 95 or 100% humidity, and it really doesn't feel like it's that humid. 
Also, this one here I got from Amazon for $58, but they have like all kinds of other ones that you can get. And I just saw on Costco's website, they have one of the ones that's like $160 on sale for $99, $94.95 or something like that. And that one there has like a windometer that you can put outside and it tells you the wind speeds outside, the direction and all kinds of stuff. And you can hook it to an app on your phone. But the one that we've got, it was just $58. It's perfect for just in the camper. Just tell them the temperature. It also comes in a black or a white. We got the black because I wanted to put it on our coffee bar is our Bose speaker. This little Bose speaker is weatherproof. And even if you have like outside speakers and everything, I know our outside speakers, I feel like I am bothering everybody in the campground when I turn them on. But this little Bose speaker, if I wanna listen to music outside, I just sit it down and listen if you're outdoors and walking around and doing some stuff and you still wanna hear your music, it does have this little strap that you can hook places and even hook like on your belt loop or something. Heck, you could even hook this on your hat while you're out at Crab Island in Destin, Florida. <laughs> we absolutely love this little speaker. We have two now, but that's because we have lost one and we could not find it anywhere. And I ended up ordering this one and it was on sale for $56, but they are a little more pricey. They are $119, but maybe you can keep checking around and try to find one that's on sale. The originally, I did not pay $119 for our first one. I had ordered some Bose headset and it came in late. Bose sent me the speaker just because we didn't get our product in time for Christmas. It's just, they just sent us one to make up for the fact that our product didn't come in on time. It is great. Bluetooth speaker is a must. This is a rechargeable hand warmer and we have really enjoyed this. I hunt, so I've been using it for hunting, but if you were sitting outside and the campfire was a little not warm, or if you were going on a hike, you could stick this in your pocket and it would keep your hands warm. It has three settings. It has a low, a medium, and a high, and I promise you, the high will burn your hands. I have made this little carrying case for it, and it really distributes the heat a lot better than just holding on to this. Because one, this is kind of hard, but it is instant heat. When you turn this on, when you turn this on, like it's already hot. Like it's starting to warm up. I mean, it is instant that it gets hot. I love that. Now, also another cool thing, guess you would have to decide do you want your hands to get cold or your phone battery to die but this will charge your phone as well it lasts up to about eight hours on a charge the only negative is it takes eight hours to charge and it is heavy and this is only $32.99 and we have done hot hands in the past and I spend $40 on a big box of them so what I spent on that whole big box of hand warmers, I bought this one rechargeable one and hopefully it'll last us quite a few years. But I have really been enjoying this. It shows you how much battery is left in it and everything, but it does take eight hours to charge. So be prepared to know that this would need to charge overnight so that you could use it the next day. But it stays charged, like for me hunting, I don't use it constantly. I'll turn it on and off because it heats up so fast. And I can go probably three or four days without charging it. My final product is the Thermocell Mosquito Repellent. This Mosquito Thermocell is $39.99 and it comes with a small cartridge. If you get order more cartridges, they're $19.99. And for the $19.99 cartridges, it can last up to 40 hours. The only negative that I have found about this is it is a little more pricey, but this thing works really good. 
it takes it once you turn it on it takes it about 15 minutes to get fully up and working it is rechargeable so you just pull this down plug this up it lasts about five and a half hours before you have to recharge it I've just set this around our camp and like if mosquitoes are coming around, I'll turn this on and within 15 minutes they're all gone and I don't notice them anymore. It says that it does up to a 20 foot radius, but I'm not sure what radius it does. I didn't test that part out, but I do know that it works around the campsite really well. We love Thermacell. We have ones that we hunt with and literally just like this you can turn those on and within a few minutes the mosquitoes are gone so i think this is a great product well i hope you enjoyed these five gadgets and if you want to try any of them out go check out my links in the description box till next time like and subscribe